Are you prepared to be offended? I don't think we have the right educational to help us question and think. Um, and I don't even think we have the passion to question and to think. I wonder if there is a tangible possibility to comprehend that uh, believing is not reality. I was religious, I had no issues with Islam, no problems, but somewhere in the back of my head, my brain was analyzing the information that was around me in a different way and coming out with the conclusion something is not right. I was wondering about the process of becoming a, a so-called spiritual preacher. Mm -hmm. Why is there no analysis of the validity of the premises? For me it was guilt um, and I sincerely believed what I was saying and what I have seen with other spiritual speakers when they are sincere and they truly believe what they're saying. The reason why they don't question it or analyze it again is because they're looking only for information that proves it to them and shape it always purposely towards their belief. They'll trust and follow him above all others. It's a process known as imprinting. We've been struggling for millennia because of the beliefs and ideologies we created in order to emancipate ourselves from confusion. My father is not a human father. But where are we now? I think believing in free will is being deluded. What can we do to liberate ourselves from confusion? What can we do to stop gambling with our minds? Join us on our journey as we investigate the importance of how the way we think shapes our lives. <laughs>